What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Bronx or Nothing podcast. Yep. Another series win. Another it was not one. easy. No, it no, was a sweat in the ninth. Another a sweat one. in the ninth for us. Oh, Clay Holmes, bro. Clay Holmes. Listen, we love you, man. You were an all-star last year, but I don't know. My heart can't take that. You know, Clay, every time you I just wanna up. I just wanna tell Clay Holmes, please don't talk to Chapman uh before a game. Oh my god. I have flashbacks. Yeah, he was yeah, I don't, I don't even say that. I don't even say that. Listen, the guy who wears Chapman's number now, he's been getting some big outs for the Yankees. We'll talk about that in a little bit, but yes. yeah, Clay Holmes, man, we need you to not give us a heart attack, you know, every wild. time you're on the mound. But you've been good. You've been good for us, but today... A little wild. Listen, a little man, wild. We'll call, a, a, a little. little. A, a, a little. little we'll, 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 get, we'll get into that in a little bit. We'll get into that in a, in a little bit, but yeah. Uh, let's talk about game one. You know, the Yankees lost. You know, we're going to recap every game. Every series. So yeah, let's get into it. Yeah. But every series, and I just want to say, Mario, that's four in a row. That's four series yeah. in a row. Listen, we're not the Rays, though. You know, beating every team. Boston can't help us out. Boston, come on. I know you guys don't like us. Can you can you take a game from Tampa at least? What are they, 12-0 12, 12 now? I don't know, and I don't care. Yeah, it's frustrating. You know, <laughs> they'll play they'll play, a, they'll play a serious baseball team. Hopefully, they play Toronto this weekend, even though we don't want Toronto winning either. Can they tie, Kevin? You think I they can tie, know. hopefully? Nah, nah, I wish. <laughs> I wish. I wish they could have. But uh, let's get into game one. Let's get into game one. So Shane Bieber against Domingo Herman, right? Shane Bieber on the mound. That's their ace. That was a game a lot of Yankee fans are basically saying, "Listen, we get this one. Can be tough to win. We get this one. We're gonna win the series." You got Cole on the mound Tuesday, mm -hmm. and the Yankees had their chance in the first inning to pretty much take this game over, put a dent uh, in the score, which they did. Uh, Glaber Torres leads off with a double. Aaron Judge with a walk, Rizzo with a single. They got bases loaded in the first inning. Then Stanton doubles. 2 nothing Yankees. And I'm like, all right, nobody it. out. A lot of hard-hit balls. By the way, yeah. I believe it was all, all all singles were hit over 105 in that inning, which is kind of crazy. Um, yeah. That, that, I mean, that's we were we were tattooing Shane Bieber, and we, I felt we should have had more runs uh, in that first inning. It's tough, but we got two. No, definitely. Uh had no outs, you know, second and third with nobody out. Calhoun lines out to Jimenez. Rocket. I guess. Again. Yeah. Bad luck. <laughs> I, I guess you want to say it's bad luck. It's bad luck. Hits it right to Jimenez. Then Torino, we love you, Trevi, but tap it back to Shane Bieber. You know, all we needed was a sack fly there. Maybe a ground out to the second baseman. Shortstop gets the job done. And then a Franchi K. So the Yankees only get two there. And Shane Bieber basically from... There on out. I think he retired like 13 in a row or something. I mean, he was nasty for the rest of the game. He wasn't, you know, throwing 93 to 95. Which he, he was throwing anymore. low. Yeah, no, he doesn't anymore. It's not the kind of picture that he is, but he was throwing in the low 90s, like 90, 91, pretty much the whole game. I think he topped out at 92. And yeah, he pretty much mowed the Yankees lineup down. Uh, in the second, Domingo, Domingo was all right. I mean, he wasn't great. In the second, he made that I, error with Jimenez. I'm he should have caught that ball. Uh, well, I was just gonna say. I mean, he, you can, you can be nice and say he wasn't right, but he didn't have anything to that day. And what's, and what's, what's a little bit fascinating is that he was. They only scored one run, really, or, or earned run too. It was two, because of that, which you're about to explain now. But I just wanted to touch base on that. That no matter how bad he looked, he still kind of kept the game within reach. Yeah, we'll get to Clark later, but him and Clark, they have to oh limit gosh. the walks. I mean, oh. the walks are going to kill us, especially with a team like Cleveland. They put the ball in play a lot. They're not going to strike out. You have to let them put the ball in play, bro. You can't be walking them. So he gets the error by Jimenez. What were you going to say, Kev? I, no, I was going to say it, it, they're not They're not going to hit it far. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're just going to pepper the ball. You know, they, they, they live by their bloops. You know, their Twitter ad. Oh, they know my gosh. They about blooping the ball. Yep. Oh, I can't, I can't stand them. Uh, but they play small ball. You know, Jimenez gets on, steals second base. Then Bell, you know, hits him over to third, and then they get a sack fly. And the game's 2-1. And like we said, that run is important in a game like that. You're playing an ace. You're facing an ace. And all the runs matter, especially in a game like that. Yep. Tight game. And then in the fourth, 
kind of. That's where Herman. That was like the end of the line. The wheels come off. Yep. He walked Bell. Uh, he walked Brennan, and then he gave up a double to Zanino. So they take him out of the game. It's two two at that point. Cleveland's threatening. He walks Straw, and I'm like, oh my god, like you know, Brewer, like just try to keep it. Hopefully they can only score one here. Well, I got his name. As as I, I, I was gonna say I got a nickname for him after that inning, Colton, uh, uh Colton Cojones Brewer. <laughs> no, that that's that's a, yo. He showed his cojones <laughs> in that inning, bro. Yes, he did. He gets he gets the what what he kick it with his like his leg or something. Well, he yeah, the ball with he his stops leg. the ball with his leg and and recovers it and goes and gets the force out at home, up. which was huge. And, Yo, huge. And then, you know, just what the doctor ordered, uh, double play. Rosario, double play, get out of the inning. It's only 2-2, two, two, right? And they're kind of like, yo, maybe the momentum shifting. You're like, hey, listen, the Yankees got a chance to win this game. It's only 2-2, two, two, but Bieber was cruising. Uh, Hamilton comes in in the seventh. He walks Quan. Quan's still second, then he walks Rosario. And I'm like, man, I don't know what it is. The Yankees, you know, the, the walks are, are going to come back to bite you. That's how baseball is. You walk, guys. No matter what team you're playing, bad team, good team, great team, they will come back to bite yep. you. Uh, they don't get the double play with Ramirez, so they get the force out at second and then nail it with a sack fly. I mean, that's the brand of baseball they play in Cleveland. And listen, they won the game that way. And the stolen three, bases, I was just going to say 3-2, but, but the stolen bases as well. I was just going to say that jump that Quan got off off Ian Hamilton was insane. So I just yeah. want to, I mean, I'm, Ian, I know you watch the podcast because you, you told me earlier you enjoy it. Uh, Ian, just please <laughs> talk to Ron because Ron has a nice way of mix, mix, mix and mix, uh, matching his, his delivery time. So it throws the runner off, which is kind of cool. And I think that a lot of pitchers, especially if you take that long to deliver the ball, should try to uh, make some adjustments now with the bigger bases and the, and everything that you're going to be um, um, seeing now moving forward. So that would be a plus. But that that jump from Quan on Ian Hamilton was insane. It's like he almost made it a second by the time Ian threw it. Yeah. I mean, listen, it was on – I don't think it was on Trevino at all. He stole no. that bag off Ian Hamilton. And I know Trevino, people were saying, you know, he's bouncing the ball. You know, maybe he's fatigued. I don't know. We don't know, obviously. There was no reports on – anything going on with Torino, but they mostly steal on our relief guys. So yep. maybe the Yankees could work on that. I don't know, but yeah. they steal that bag off him. They get the sack fly 3-2. And then Karen Check comes in. The Yankee fans don't like him. We don't like him. But he comes in, right? Beaver goes 7. Beaver goes 7 after, you know, we thought he, we could possibly take him out early. You know who likes you know? Karen Check? Gio oh. Urshela. <laughs> 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 we can't we can't talk about Gio. Uh, we can't talk about Gio because you, you, you know your fans are gonna get on me for my love for JD. No problem. But Karen Check, Garrett Check comes in, and Glaber, uh, we could call it a triple. You know, Straw misplays the ball, goes under his glove, rolls in the center field, and Glaber's hustling around uh, second. He gets the third. I'm like, all right, Yankees gonna tie this game up. No outs. Somehow again. find a way to win. No outs again. Shows with like a half swing, and. It goes to the second baseman, pop out. That's literally the opposite of what we needed. We did not yep. need that. That's one out. Then Rizzo Kays and then Giancarlo Kays. And Karen Check, he's hopping around the mound. He's all fired up. And then, I mean, the ball goes to Class A in the ninth. And he's Shuts an elite the closer, guys. Although we did get to him uh, in game three. That wasn't a, a safe situation. He shut the door on us. And that's what elite closers do. So the Yankees go quietly one, two, three in the ninth. And the Yankees lose game one. A Three tough to two. loss. A tough deflating, loss. Deflating loss. Deflating loss for sure. Remember you told me uh, it's tough. This is going to linger. I think we were talking about that separately. And I said, you know what? We've done it before where we lose the first one and we win the next two. And what Baltimore. happened? Yes, sir. Yep. That's Baltimore. So game two. Now, it was great. The weather was great the night before, but game two was cold again, brother. Very That's cold. Like, cold world on the mound as he does best. I mean, you can say shoving because the Cleveland Guardians just don't strike out as much, uh, but he definitely cruised. Um, let's go with Cole on the mound on game two. Everybody feels good. Uh, Cole comes off uh, basically before going to Cole, the leadoff walk from Deji in top of the first. Judge reaches on an error because we want to talk about this because I think in game one, IKF got thrown out at third. Was that happening in game one? Yeah, that no, game two, game two. Oh, it happens in game two? Okay, yeah. yeah so, game two, stealing, stealing with Judge up. Yep. Exactly. So we'll talk about that. But my thing is that I guess we forgot how to run the bases 
in this series. But uh, yeah, so lead off walk from DG. Judge reaches on the error. Now Rizzo flies out and on attack. Judge goes to second and gets thrown out at second. I mean, I don't get it. Staten, uh, um, you got uh, your your fourth hole cleanup hitter uh, coming up. Uh, why even go in that position? We just want to run there, l- l- taking the bat out of Glaber's hands, basically. Um, I don't know. Judge one of our hotter guys. One of our hotter guys, one yeah. of our hotter guys is Glaber, so that's yeah. that's tough. I mean, honestly, I get I get Judge being aggressive to an, to a point, but at the end of the day as well, Judge doesn't make many errors. But come on, guys, we ju- we just can't. Seems like the Guardians were taking advantage of our errors, and we were giving them over and over again. So it's tough. Um, and then, of course, we go. Claybrook strikes out. Nothing happens in that inning after that. Uh, deflating first inning again. But Cole picks us up uh, uh, right away. Uh, he comes in 0-2. I'm like, oh, man, Cole is aggressive right now, right? No. Mm-hmm. High fastball on Quan. Quan slaps it for the single. I mean, uh, I, I was just like, why yeah. go with that on 0-2? I mean, Cole's Cole. I'm not going to criticize the man. He, he got the job done. But Quan is so annoying. I just have to say, yeah. he annoys me so much. I just want to see him get out once, at least a game, and not walk, hit, walk, hit. Um, yeah. So so I thought we were going to get him there. Um, but, no, he slaps in a, a, a fastball there. Uh, Cole gets a grounder from Jimenez. Should have been a double play. And your boy bobbles it. It's all right. The way he's swinging the bat. The way he's swinging the bat, man. He can bobble all the way. You got to make that play. Love Glaber. No, but yeah, you got to make make that play. You got to make that play. Listen, backhand, knock it down. At least get one out there. Yeah. Listen, I'm I'm fine if he gets one out there. Double play, tries to backhand it. Maybe he could have got in front of it. I think it was hit a little bit too hard. But listen, it goes under his glove. Guy advances the third. He got man at the corners with nobody out. And the again, the baby rocker, uh, the holder of L's, uh, Naylor, sack fly, gets a 2-0. Two, then we got uh, Cole strikes out K, uh, Bell. Uh, Bell's struggling, by the way. Bell doesn't look so good. Uh, top of the second, yeah. we go one out single from Waldo. Right, he moves uh, on to second with a huge a high chopper. I've never seen a chopper. Uh, that, that, I mean, that's how yeah. strong Frenchy is. Yeah, uh, Frenchy's. He's on second base. And Trevi, man, Trevi slaps a, a RBI single, which is good to see two out. You know? That's what we like. We'll, we'll, we'll take that. that. Yeah, cut the lead in half. We'll take that. There you go. Then we go on to Cole is cruising. At that point, Cole is cruising, right? Yeah. Top of the yeah. third, DJ double. Judge strikes out. Rizzo hit by pitch. Glaber walk. Uh, bases loaded. Uh, for the Yankees in the top of the third, and Willie up to bat. I was nervous for Willie myself. Um, I know Willie had. Did you see? Oh, yeah. Go uh, no, no, go ahead. Okay, so Willie after the game, apparently, I think Meredith was saying how, like, he was beating himself up. He's like, I never strike out. After the first game, he was beating himself up, but I'm like, you know, baseball is such a mental game. It doesn't mm-hmm. matter if you're a professional, like, whatever level you're at. If you're a baseball player and you're watching this, it's a mental game. So, obviously, for Willie, you know, he's on the Yankees. Love being a Yankee, all that. It's tough. You want to perform. You know, he got brought up, and he wants to perform. Yep. Well, whoever you're playing for. So, obviously, you know, I was hoping for Willie, Willie and he came through. Yeah, and then I just want to point out that that was an eight pitch at bat, which was he was fouling pitches off, which was great to see. I love that from a hitter. It's always good to have one or two guys in your lineup that way to balance things out because you got guys like Volpe who like to swing on a first pitch or second and stuff like that. You got guys. It's nice to balance the line the the lineup that way. So eight pitch single right up the right up uh, uh, center field uh, scores a run. Uh, Waldo sack fly another great. I'll take that all day, guys. I mean, this is runners are coming. Play the in. man. Play the man. Play Waldo. Yeah, Please why are we sending Waldo? Man. At this point, it's like I tweeted that like three times, uh, uh, twice today and yesterday. Uh, he has to play, man. I mean, he has to be one of your everyday guys. He's just proven it defensively. He's proven it with his bat. I mean, I think he kind of likes Cleveland. You can see that now with the playoffs last year and this year. Yep. Um, getting getting hits in clutch situations. Uh, here he just puts the ball up there. Sack fly. We'll take that. And then El Carpintero from Asua La República Dominicana. The Dominican Matt Carpenter. I know some people got at me for saying that. And if you're watching this, <laughs> listen, Carp, we love you, bro. But Cashman finds another guy. Got, oh, by the way, thank you, Baltimore. Shout Gracias. out to the Orioles for giving us uh, Frenchie Cordero. I see a lot of Red Sox fans. Pretty upset. I think he took until like August or September to hit his second home run of the year there last yeah. year. And I think he's got four. Four with the Yankees. Now with the I mean, Yanks, this is a three-run bomb. From Francis Cordero puts the 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 scoreboard up six two Yanks. Now that's beautiful for the way Cole's cruising. Um, Cole's yeah. happy. Everybody's jumping in the dugout. Frenchie has been swinging the bat. That's another guy you have to play. 
at this point. Against a righty. Against a righty. Against a righty. Against a righty. Yeah, yeah against a righty. righty. And oh. and if he hits a home run that game, you can leave him against the lefty at least once because he got a single the other day. Remember? Yeah. Uh, I'll take that. But, again, 6-2 Yanks. Uh, on top of the fourth, right, we get three singles. Bases loaded. RB, uh, our RBI single from, from Rizzo. Torres scores. Uh, and then, double no, play. I'm sorry. Double play Torres, and that makes it 8-2. and two. So, again, three singles. I'm sorry. I read that wrong. Three singles from the yeah. Yankees. I didn't, uh, then Rizzo comes up with an RBI single. Then Torres double play. And then the, the game's 8-2. And then after that, I mean, the Yankees pretty much blew, blew, blow the game open. There's a wild pitch. Judge scores, makes it 9-2. And after that, yeah. the game is 11-2. I mean, I don't think we got to go uh, run by run at this point. Um, yeah. The Yankees are just uh, great, great, great offensive. I think we had uh, nine nine uh, hits that day. 12, uh, 13, 13 hits. They there you go, it. 13 hits. 13, yeah, yeah. So thank you for correcting so, me there, my friend. But, yeah, the Yankees right. cruise in the cold world uh, answers again. Cole is now 3-0. Um, his final stat line that night was seven innings pitch, five hits, two earned runs, two walks, and three strikeouts, which is like eight strikeouts for the Guardians. Um, that being yeah. said, he is 3-0 and with a 1.4 uh, ERA with uh, 19 innings pitch and 22 strikeouts. Should be should be under one. Glaber, I love you. Got to make that play. <laughs> Keep the ball in front of you. Cole's my guy, too, so I got to defend him. Glaber, you got to make that play. And uh, you want to talk about Abreu a little bit? I think he threw two innings at the end. Yeah. He threw I the mean, eighth and the ninth. For Yo, the... give him his flowers. He hasn't been as bad as Yankee fans want to get on him. Listen, lasagna is not here, right? He's hurt. Has been an update on him in about a couple of days. He's probably not going to be back for another month. We need these guys to step up and get big outs. I know Ian Hamilton is not the guy you want to pitch in the seventh inning of a game like that. He's going to have to get big outs. Abreu is going to have to get... I don't know about high leverage situation, but... Big outs. If King, yeah, he's going to have to get big outs. In the sixth, maybe the seventh inning. Or limit the damage, gonna either way. Limit the damage, yeah. So that's going to be his job for the Yankees. But Yankees pretty much cruise uh, 11-2 in one game, too. Yes, sir. And, that's a, and the and series that is sets tied. up uh, the rubber match. And listen, I will not lie to you guys. The vibes were kind of like, I was worried. I'm like, listen, Close I got right. a pod now. I don't want to have bad vibes. But again, listen, if we lose the series, I got to be truthful with you guys. But Clark Schmidt's on the mound against, I think his name was Battenfield. He was a rookie, Major League debut. And you know how it is with Major League debut in the Yankees. They make this guy look like Nolan Ryan. That's what everybody was saying. Then you see the lineup, no Glaber, no DJ. And I'm like, oh, man, the punt lineup, 1 o'clock game. I got two classes during the game. Uh, and, yeah, just the, the vibes where I'm just like, listen, guys. Just I mean, he doesn't. Battenfield doesn't have overpowering stuff. He has a lot of off speed. Yeah, and, junk. A lot of junk. Yeah, and then um, and then Shane Bieber kind of is that way too, with a lot of off speed. And then it, it seems to be that the, I mean, we I like how Glaber, Waldo, even Frenchy is hitting the off speed stuff. We got to get everybody else in that train. I feel like Stanton normally when he's in mid season form, he smacks yeah. the slider. Um, so, so, I mean, he was I, missing I, that today. yeah, he, he was, was missing that today. um, that was, that was weird. I mean, but again, it's the beginning of the season, but I mean, yeah, nothing overpowering, just a lot of, a lot of off speed stuff. Uh, and then we go from the, uh, you want to start so, with the, yeah, we'll start with the first, a lot of, ha- a lot happened in the first actually. So, a lot. so Volpe double, I'm thinking this ball's got, I'm like, Hey, just like Jeter hits his first homer in against form, formerly the guardians. Now the Indi- or formerly the Indians, now the guardians. Uh, you know, I don't want to mess it up. John Sterling was messing that up a lot today, and people were getting him. I'm like, God. Well, Susan, I've called him yeah, 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 for 30 give years. <laughs> give him a <laughs> break. So, Volpe leads off with the double. Judge K's. And then Rizzo gets robbed by Rosario. I think that ball's squirting through. I'm in class, like, trying not to get too hyped. Rosario makes the play, and then... So, Rosario makes that play, throws him out of first, and then stand with a ground ball. The Yankees get nothing. Then on the bottom of the Nada. first is when things get very interesting. Quan singles, and then a a little like line. They said it was a line out. It no, like, let's let's almost, be honest. It, it I mean, they they, they, they called it the a single. Play. The Quan, no, no, they called the it a single. No, yeah, no, hold on. Because I was gonna yeah, say, yeah. I mean, that's also it hit the heel of of Hicks's glove. I mean, was, if it hits anywhere, I, I I I personally, when it hits anywhere near your hand, bro. I mean, I don't care how they score it. For me, that's an error, bro. Uh, you got to come up with that ball there. I mean, you know those guys boot yeah. the ball everywhere. They're not gonna. I mean, again, when's the last time? I don't know how how many bloopers they're gonna they're gonna kill us, man. Uh, I, I, until they start putting balls over our, our head, I feel like we should play them a little in. But um, again, I'm no I'm no 
I'm no expert. They know why they listen, do things. Listen, I, listen, obviously, I'm doing a podcast for them. I'm not in the MLB. My high school coach <laughs> always used to tell me. My high school coach goes, listen, and I pride myself on defense. The ball hits your glove, you got to make a play. Yes, you got to knock it down. You got to do something. If it hits your glove, it should be an out. That was his saying. So that was a little frustrating. Of course, you know, the fan base. Hicks does anything wrong. He's going to get crucified for it. And listen, he hasn't been great the past couple of years. He's, he's been pretty bad for the Yankees. But especially that, you know, the backlash is going to be insane for Hicks. So single by Quan, line out from Rosario, then the double by Ramirez, and I'm like, Clark, bro. Of course. Like, we need you to settle down. Like, you cannot be given, you know, put the Yankees in a hole right there. And then the big play, that was a big discussion point for a lot of fans, not just Yankee fans, people saying Yankee fans are crying. The bloop by Naylor. Now, what are your thoughts on that, Kevin? I don't know if you saw it. The yeah, I saw Naylor. it, and as soon as I saw the replay, I, I saw the Hicks drop there, and they went to commercials, and I'm like, I guess they're not going to challenge it. I mean, again, after the inning's over, there's like a five to seven second where everybody, where, before they go to commercial, so I don't see anybody, they're walking off the field, everybody's walking off, I don't see no hands up or anything, so I'm assuming, and everybody cuts to, to commercial, I'm assuming they didn't challenge. Now, me off the bat, what I was just saying is, you can only challenge, uh, uh, a, a, the existing play that just happened. So as Volpe being there and Hicks knowing, like, I mean, I don't know if Hicks maybe didn't notice or Volpe. Uh, I'm sorry, no, Volpe. Whoever was covering second, uh, I think it was Cabrera. Um, yeah. If he didn't catch that ball, just to play it safe, normally it happens. I know it was a double play. I get it that you think you have it. But normally they'll still throw the third and step on the bag to just in case he left early, which Quan. Yeah. But my thing is if they do that, J-Ram is just standing there with his head, with his hands on his head like this, you you tag him, you erase the possibility of them challenging Hicks play because now that play on on J Ram is is mm-hmm. is is the last play. That was what I was arguing in our separate chat that I saw yep. in another game, and I'll try to look for that game. But in this case, what happened was that they're saying, and this is the he said, she said. After watching the post game, Jack said that he got a response stating that they went to Hicks, they talk, they started talking it over, and that they thought that Quan might have left early or didn't score before. They were trying to see if Quan scored before or after, right? By that happening, they're saying, I'm they're saying the, um, the umpires that that gives more time for Cleveland to challenge. Now that's not in the rule book. The rule book is you have to put you, you have to signal to the to home plate or uh, to the crew chief that you're gonna challenge or you're waiting to hear for the challenge. Seconds. Fifteen, 15 seconds. seconds, and that, that was the biggest thing today. Fifteen seconds, and it you took him twenty two seconds. Yeah, yeah. I'm, just one more thing. It took him yeah, twenty two but... seconds before anything, and then just not only that, where the, the 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 umpires are talking in the middle of the field, the scoreboard goes ahead and says challenging the play without them challenging. So it's like even that it was like nope. That that has nothing to do. I mean, I, again, I get the situation. I get what they're saying, but everybody jumps the gun here. Teddy, Teddy was just to me sleeping, honestly. Um, but I get Boone's frustration, and I understand the umpires can talk things over. But the I rules are the rules, yeah. And 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 they have 15 seconds. To, we didn't challenge anything, so there there shouldn't have been a challenge there. I mean, I'm glad they got the call right. I'm not gonna sit here and argue that the call was right. It's just the way that they got to the call. Was not yeah. was not good. I I mean, for me, everybody was like, I took five minutes. I think it was three minutes after, because I went to commercial break. Mind you, I'm in class. I can't listen to the game. I'm just watching whatever happens on my computer. I'm like, all right, beautiful double play. Hicks redeemed himself. I'm tweeting it out. The tweet aged like uh, milk. That's how that's how that tweet aged. So when I see them come back on the field, I'm like, what's going on? I ask people on Twitter, and they're like, you have 15 seconds, and I'm like, I'm aware because at Yankee Stadium they do that. Right after the Yankees challenge, that's when they put up the review. I guess that's like a thing, and I'm not sure 100% guys on it, but usually if whether they say, you know, keep going or we're going to challenge it, they'll play that after. They'll show the replay after. They don't show it right away. You know, it takes them some time, rightfully so. But that was extremely frustrating in that inning because yeah. he gets the K. Listen, it should have been one nothing, just the sack fly, or it should have been 0-0. Zero, zero. Should have yeah. been zero zero. If Hicks catches that ball too. If Hicks, if Hicks catches the ball, the first one too. Yeah. Then, then he, then he gets the K Jimenez right two outs, and we love if our team gets two out hits for RBIs, but it's a backbreaker, especially for Clark. You want his confidence to go up. Bell yeah. kind of breaks out of what he's going through. He's not he's not been hit, uh, producing. He gets an RBI single. They lead two nothing, and then he gets a gr- the ground ball from Brennan. But the damage is done. Yeah. Obviously, in the, in a game like that. 
you know, people were saying the Yankees are just going to roll over. It's a matinee game. And they went down one, two, three in the second. And that was a little bit like, you know, their order. It was Franchi, Waldo, and IKF. And I'm like, you know, we can't. I don't want to go down like this, especially, you know, it's a one o'clock game. Yeah. Got the Twins tomorrow. You know, you start thinking about tomorrow a little bit. Well, at least I do. And I'm like, listen, I want to win this game. You know, like, 100%. Star, you got you got to settle down. You got to figure it out, bro. Listen, our bullpen's rested. Realistically, I wanted five five innings, two runs from Clark. I think that would be pretty fair. I don't know what you think, uh, how great he was today. He gave up the homer to Rosario 3-0. in the third inning. Shut him down the second. Yeah, so that made the game 3-0, the homer from Rosario. Then he went, then he got three outs after that. And in the fourth, he pretty much settled down after the big first, but he did give up the home run, like we said. And I'll take Clark that. Goes, Clark I'll... goes four, four innings, and he gives up three runs. I mean, should have been, not, should've should've been, been one. one run. Yeah. Should have been one run, honestly. Um, the way the game played out, I'll take it either way. Either way, if, if Clark's going to give us – I mean, again, if he's going to be our fifth guy right now, if he's going to give us four or five innings with three-run ball, of course we'll, you'll take it. Um, this case, it was uh, four with three. Should have been one. I get it. But, I mean, he didn't look he didn't look bad today, uh, honestly. Um, but, I mean, tough, tough unravel for the Yankees. Then Boone gets kicked out, uh, thrown out in that first inning. In the first. That was um, tough. Yeah, I mean, that was tough as well. Um, but, I mean, I thought he had a game plan because it looked like that after everybody with the bullpen and the way everything played out after. But, but that, that also, also, that's a good thing about Cole. He reset that bullpen. He goes seven innings. Yeah. Abreu goes two. Everybody gets a day off. Yep. So, you know, you're going to get the big dog. You're going to get Ron. Well, obviously, the guys that are healthy, you're going to get Ron, you're going to get King, you're going to get Holmes, right? And you're going to get Wandy. Wandy, Simo. King and Wandy were great for the Yankees. They got them nine outs, exactly exactly what we needed. But in the fifth, the Yankees rally back. Yes, sir. They get a Waldo single, an IKF single. A who single? Waldo again. Waldo again. Play, Play the man. man. Play, Play the, the man. man. I'm wearing 95 to the stadium tomorrow, actually. Yes. I'll be at the stadium tomorrow. I'm wearing 95. Play the man, Yankees. Play the man. <laughs> he can play anywhere. Please, play the man. So, they get a single from Waldo, single from IKF, and Hickey just misses a homer. I'm in class watching this, guys, mind you. I got to try to be as calm as I can. I can't skip these classes. He's surprised. Uh, school's almost over. And <laughs> and Hickey misses the homer by a couple by a couple inches. I'm like, by a couple feet. And I'm like... I'm I'll like, take Damn. that. I'll, you know, I'll take it. Higgy double. I'm thinking the ball's out. And the relay comes in and it hits the uh, hits the umpire. It's <laughs> the that... ump the ump that threw Boone out. And I get it. And Yankee Twitter was like, "Ball don't lie. Listen, we don't want. I, I believe he's okay." <laughs> uh, but I mean, a lot of people went nuts because of that. Not, and, and, not, and, and, not, I apologize. Yeah, for laughing. Yeah, I it's not. Be laughing, yeah, I, I mean, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I get why because you're talking, you're thinking about Yankee Twitter and everybody that was talking. But my, my yeah. point was, some people from the Cleveland side uh, was talking about you guys got lucky that the ump gave you a run, and we're like, the ump gave us a run. The ump gave you guys two. What are you uh, talking about? Like, cut it out. Like, cut like, it out. Stop. Stop. Yeah, like, come yeah, on. Listen, yo, go hold a swab at Cleveland. Take it easy, please, bro. Yeah, the we land. got get, we got we got gifted runs. Hashtag for the land. That team from Queens, you guys were tweeting <laughs> out. That team from Queens is pretty good, right? I still don't get that joke. That's mad corny. It is kind um, of corny. So yeah, the Yankees get um, two in the fifth. Then Ron was a little shaky in the bottom of the fifth, but he gets out of it. He walks. Quan, I can't be a nice play at third base. Hey, listen, he want to go glove there. I know JD's he on his bobbles, way back. He but... bobbles another play after. Yeah, he did, he did bobble late, <laughs> later in the game. But he still, that was a nice play. He robbed Rosario. That was yeah, a big play. Yeah, he did, play. he did, he did. That was a great play. He, he walks from Maris, and I'm like, damn, like his his location is not there from Ron, but he K's Naylor, which is huge. Yep. And he K's Jimenez. Yep. But the Yankees get out of that. Uh, nothing, the Yankees go down. Oh, in the sixth, um, Judge walked. I'm like, okay, this is the rally. This is 2 3 4. Then Rizzo gets into a double play. So that was kind of deflating. And I stay in K's, and I'm like, man. Are we really about to go down like this? Like, no. It's a three to two ball game. All we need is one swing. No, because but, we have the from franchise. Oswa, la República Dominicana, Franchi Cordero. The Dominican the Matt Carpenter strikes again. The Dominican Matt Carpenter. Yes. He hits another bomb. Bomba. All, all, all Stefan. Um, yeah, ties the game of 3 3. So that was huge for the Yankees. And like we said, King and Wandy uh, killed it. They got nine outs for us. Exactly uh, what we needed. And then the eighth, 
Judge just missed a homer twice. Twice. Isn't that camera? Not yes. once. Yes. Yes. That camera work has to get better. Michael K goes, it is high, it is far, and I'm looking. And he goes, it's a foul ball. Mind you, at this time, I'm in my car about to drive home, right? I'm listening to the game on the Those are on the my worst. phone. Those I'm are... about to turn it on the radio, and I'm like, Michael K, man. I'm about to start screaming on my campus, and you're doing this to me. And then he flies out, so I'm like, all right. I'm listening to the game on the radio. Morning track. So, IKF makes an error. Don't worry. Yankees get out of it. Be happy. Double play. W Wandy gets a double play from Naylor, and then he gets Jimenez out. And in the ninth is where this game gets interesting. Well, it was interesting the whole time, but there were some big things that happened in the ninth. Class A comes in. Non-save situation, and this was huge, right? Yankees get the lead off him. Rizzo flies out, right? Got one down. Stanton single. Well, it was an infield hit to Rosario. Bell can't make Say that right. Say that right again, because you're not going to hear this, I, I don't think, ever again this season. Yeah, yeah. Stanton yeah, with an infield, infield single. Infield single. Yep. <laughs> and then he goes into the camera wall. I'm like, that's, that's you know, that's yeah, another we, base we or whatever. And mind you, I'm listening to John Sterling or whatever. So I'm like, listen. Well, what's going John, on, Susan? Uh, John, the ball, oh, John. the ball seems to go into the cameras. So, I'm going crazy. I'm like, do I have to pull over? John, I love you, man. You're giving me a heart attack. Not as much as Clay Holmes, but pretty close to it. Like, But I was going to say, Glaber wasn't in today, day-to-day, -day with, with tightness, but he comes in as a pinch runner, and that makes everybody yeah. take a sigh, a, 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 a deep yeah. breath, and be like, oh, he's good. Because he's pinch running, he yep. he's good. Yeah, He should be in the lineup tomorrow. I'm hoping for that. Yep. Oh, uh, yeah. So, John Carlo infield single, and then Franchi Case. Franchise, you can't do it every time. Emmanuel yeah. Classe is nasty. But who again? Who again shows up for the Yankees? Play, Where is he? Play the man. Find out situation you want to. You heard his answer, right? My favorite position is where the Yankees put me. Play, play Bro, what, the guy. Play what him. More, what more could you want out of a kid? No, yeah. What more could you want out of a kid? He's I, wearing his necklace right now. <laughs> He's the man. Waldo. RBI single. Yes. I watched the, re I watched the replay after. It could have been a double hit off the top of the wall, but listen. He I'll thought he had single. it. Yeah, it's fine. Sorry. It's fine. I'll take the single because it's a 4-3 lead and I can have ground out. Fine. Yankees take the lead. Clay Holmes comes on. 1-2-3, right, Kevin? 1-2-3, right? As easy. Yankees win 4-3. All right, we're done. No. He gets a... Clay Holmes comes in. He gets a ground out belt. One out. Hits Brennan. I believe it was on a 1-2 count. He hits Will Brennan. Hits him on the foot. He goes to first base. Now, 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 right there in Brennan, I just want to say, they have 50 lefties on their lineup. I was thinking, yeah. why not let Wandy start the inning? I don't think the Yankees would do that. I know. Clay, Clay Holmes was rested. I, I know you were, we were talking about that yeah. uh, before, the, I was before just we like, started this. I, and it was just like. <laughs> yeah, I know you were frustrated about that. So you get Straw out. It was a play to IKF. I rewatched it. I think he might have uh, double pump and then threw it to Glaber. He might have gotten it out quick. I thought that could have been a double play ball. And John's like, double play ball to IKF, to Glaver, to Rizzo. Safe at first. And I'm like, John. It, it, it's hard to, to double you know, straw, bro. Straw gets out yeah, of that box. Bro. No, no, yeah, yeah. I'm not hating on IKF at all. It's uh, it's definitely tough. Uh, But Oscar Gonzalez, and listen, I'm getting PTSD. I won't lie to you. You know, SpongeBob with his SpongeBob uh, theme song. I'm like, listen, man, Clay, whatever you do, man, you cannot let this guy beat us, please. After last year, you can't, especially Clark Smith started the game. I'm like, oh my God, the baseball guy, they're going to do this to us. Come on, Clay. But he Get him up. But he, <laughs> but he wanted, I guess he wanted nothing to do with um, Gonzalez or Quan. No. He walks them both. It's bases loaded. And then, listen, our captain, I want to say assistant captain, because obviously Aaron Judge is the captain. Rizzo goes out to the mound. A little bit underrated. Yankee fans weren't really talking about that. Rizzo goes to the mound to talk to Clay. There was already a mound visit Calmate. to Blake. Take it easy, my man. He's like, he's like, listen, bro, take it easy. Take it, take easy. it easy. We're going to be all right. Oh. Just put it down the plate. We'll get the ground ball. I had to pull over to Wawa. I don't know if you guys saw my video. I had to pull over to Wawa. I'm like, listen, Yankees win. I'm getting food. Yankees <laughs> lose. I'm letting myself starve, putting gas in my car, and there will be no music on the way home. Oh, my God. But Clay Holmes gets the strike out of Rosario, and the Yankees yes. win their fourth series in a row. And the vibes are good again. The vibes are great. Ask? It's I mean, what yep. more can you ask? You get an, the fourth series win, right? Clay yep. finds it at the end. Now listen, 
was, like I said, I feel like he had a conversation with Chapman before that game. Oh. Yes, it gave me flashbacks of Chapman because Chapman could never get a clean save. I mean, I would say 80% of the time. Yep. But, bro, oh, my gosh, was I sweating. I did not want a, a chopper walk-off in this. I, I, I just didn't want it. And Clay, The, bro, the broken bat bloop single, you know, the, the MLB script writers, they were ready for that. And it was not man. Like, it was Rosario, too, who took, yeah. us, who took us deep earlier. And it was just like – and also, who's been – who's been showing a clinic when it comes to a shortstop. He he played great defense this, this series. Stole a lot of hits. He robbed, he robbed Rizzo. Yeah, he did. He saw a lot but of hits. But you struck so. out, bro. Sorry, Rosario. Yeah. That was huge. And was the huge. land the, the land gets Frenched again. Yep. So, like we said, Yankees win the series. Kev, uh, I want to talk about this real quick. What are you looking oh, forward boy. to in the, uh, in the next series? The Yankees got the Twins for four. No Joey Gallo. No I was Joey waiting Gallo. for Gallo. What's nah, up? You're nah, not gonna, nah, you're nah, not gonna, nah. you're not gonna come home or back in Yankee Stadium. Is nah, he even gonna be know, in a building? I, I doubt it. Listen, not nothing against Joey Gallo. Me Honestly, I would never, I, I would never boo the guy. But I never did that as a Yankee. It's not the fan that I am. Other fans, you want to do that? Listen, I'm not gonna say how what fan you can be. Like you can do whatever you want. You pay money to get into the stadium. You can do that. Uh, looking forward to you know Correa, uh, former Met. Coming into the building. Buxton might be out too for a day. <laughs> oh, okay. We Buxton because he got Lopez. hurt. He got hurt and um today okay. in uh in a in the double play uh at second, okay. um so he's day to day. Let's see if he's gonna play if he's gonna play or not. Um, is it Nestor tomorrow? It is the man, the myth, the legend, homegrown ace Johnny Brito <laughs> again. Ryan, when Ryan's been pretty good. Yes, Ryan is. And we got Nestor on bobblehead night. Herman against Maeda on Saturday, and we got a, a good. If you're if you like pitching, I think Sunday's the game for you to go. Garrett Cole against former Yankee Pablo Lopez. I guess you could say former because I guess he was pretty much on the team at the trade deadline. People were saying. So listen, that's a good. If you want to watch good pitching, you go to that game on Sunday. I'm excited. A four game series, and listen, yep. this Twins team is not bad. They're eight and four, just like us. You know they they battled. I think they played Houston. They beat Houston in the series, so they've been they've been battling. They've been there. So, I mean, they they don't have their their, their big bat and Joey Gallo. But um, <laughs> you got to do them. Like that. Uh, listen, man, listen. You ain't gonna go start talking crap in the media and then be expected with 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 arms wide open back in New York. That's just the way I nah, am. Yeah. But yeah. but yeah. So the Yankees now go four game set with the with the Twins, and we'll see where that takes us. Are we going to be 5 0? We will see. Will your boys be at the stadium? We will see. But again, we will see. We will see. I'll be at all four games. Of course. But uh, we might uh, we might have to go together to one game. We'll see about it. My mom, but listen, But listen, guys. Kevin, you got anything else? No. That's that's pretty much it. All right. Well, listen, guys. Thank you guys for always tuning in, you know, giving us feedback, saying how much you guys enjoyed the pod. We really appreciate it. Yes. And uh, yeah, thank you for checking out episode six of The Bronx or Nothing. Let's go Yanks. Let's go Yanks.